Hello everyone and welcome back to Retro Cooper 7107 videos where today in this video we are going to be starting a brand new let's play on Monty Mole Island 3. So I played the other two in this series and I absolutely love them. And it seems that every single game in this series tries to add something different. So I'm really um, intrigued to see what this one adds different. Like as you can see it's Mario Bros freestyle. So I'm really excited for this so let's get straight into this. It's difficulty is normal and it's got 10 exits. And here we go! Already, so, um, that's not level. Alright, so, uh, can we, uh, look around? Yes, we can. Wow, this, this looks really good. Like, this is really well done. Like, I don't know how he did this. Um, cause this, this looks exactly like Mario Bros. 3. But anyway, let's go on to Goomba Plains. So, once again, we will be playing as Monty Mole. So, um, this game was, um, released, um, one month ago, but sadly you couldn't play it because um, we were playing Call of Kingdom Quest. But in a way, that's sort of a good thing because it has actually been updated to um, 1.1 now, which adds the uh, brand new level. So, um, only thing is though, if it's Mario Bros. 3, how can you tell if the uh, level has a secret exit or not? That's the um, only thing I'm worried about. But um, apart from that, the game looks absolutely absolutely amazing, like the screenshots look good as well. Right, nothing in there. So our uh, first level um, looks pretty simple, like we can deal with this. Like level design once again is on point, oh that's going to fall isn't it, yep, alright. Getting a bit more um, interesting now, right what's going on down here. Right, I uh, don't think there'll be anything in them blocks because you can't get to them. So right now I think I'm small, so I really would like a mushroom. Uh, maybe one of these blocks will have a mushroom in here. Uh, will there be? Yes there will. There we go. Nice. Right, let's get up there. Perfect. Like, this game just looks absolutely amazing. Like, all the menus at the bottom. Like, um, I think I've only ever played Mario Bros. 3 once. So, um... Yeah, it's not really um, been a game that I've played that often, but oh yes, it's got the Mario Bros. 3 ending, there we go, perfect. And it just walks off without a care. So where are we going now? We are going to go to Power Beetle Jumps, okay. So then, um, is it going to be a sky level? I hope it is, because I really like sky levels. Oh, it's going to be one of them type of levels, okay. I see how it is, like, I think I got this. Oh, no way, they've updated that. So now you can tell if you've got a fire flower or not. Because um, you turn red now. That is um, so cool. Like, these games just get better and better every single time. Like, I hope the uh, creator of this game, I'm sorry I've forgotten your name, but I really hope you keep making these games because I just absolutely love them and they're like really small games, really fun to play through. Um, but anyways, let's keep on going. Right, there we go. Get down there. I don't want to see your face ever again. Alright, so this level is definitely um, a lot harder than the uh, first level. I'm guessing that this uh, game might be a bit harder than the others because it is the third in the series. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm going down. Um, oh, there he is. Alright, so you need to stand right on the edge of that pipe to uh, make him spawn. Um, Alright, there's something there. I want to, I want to see what that is. <laughs> Just a coin, that's all it is. I thought it might have been a vine or something, but apparently not. Well, that might be a vine. Let me uh, check that out. No! Ah, oh, shoot, I got hit. Never mind. Uh, let's see this. Is this going to be a vine? Nope, going to be more coins. But you know what? I'm going to take them. Like, if someone walks up to you in the middle of the street and gives you some uh, free money, of course you're going to take it. Oh, jeez. No! Alright. That's uh, quite difficult. Alright, let's try this then. Come on, one, two... Three, four, five! Yes! Wow, that was um, some pretty uh, pretty close jumps there. Like, if I uh, waited a second longer, you probably wouldn't be able to make them. And jeez! Don't do that. That was evil. That was pure evil. No sense of, like, no sense of happiness there. All just evil. And, oh no. <laughs> Should have waited for him to go down the pipe, but I was on the uh, falling platform. So I couldn't. Right, hello, get out of here. No one likes you. Right, what's going on here? Um, oh, I thought that was going to be the end because it uh, went upwards. You know, like it does at the end. And these levels are really, really long. Like, I thought I might be able to complete this game in this episode, but 
Should we by how long these levels are? I don't think it will be. It might be another uh, two episode game. Which is always, always, always really good. And geez, he's fast on the overall map. Why is he so fast? Anyways, let's go to the um, Roto Disc Fortress. Roto Disc? What's that gonna be? Roto Disc? Oh, is that what they're called? Really? I thought they were like radiation discs or something. <laughs> That's what I always thought they were. So it looks like it's got all the um, Super Mario Bros. 3 elements in it as well. Um, which is good. Like, it's not just um, the textures have changed. Like, the entire physics have changed as well, which is cool. Alright. Um, better watch out for them. No! Oh, he tried to uh, stop me getting the mushroom, but I still get the mushroom in the end. Right, I really like the look of the uh, brown pipes. Are they brown because uh, Monty Mole's brown? I think that might be what's going on there. Right, wait for it to go around. Nice. Alright, got some uh, jumps here. Uh, this game is definitely not being uh, as forgiving as the others. Oh, Monty Mole can't spin jump? Okay, that's going to make it harder. It's because um, it's Mario Bros. 3, isn't it? That's why. It's not Super Mario World anymore. We've gone back to the classics. Like, I am actually going to play uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 on my channel at some point, I think. I'm not too sure. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. Like, I think it would be just cool to uh, play all the uh, old games. But come on, get out of here. Jump over it. Nice, perfect, all right. Right, what's going on here? Yeah, you, you go in that lava. Like, I don't care about you, you go in that lava. So is there going to be a boom boom at the end of this? Like, oh, God, I really hope boom boom's at the end of this. All right, this is quite difficult, though. Got to wait for it. There we go. Now I can stand here. All right, nice. Oh, we're quite scared that the uh, top one was going to hit me there when I was stood in the middle, but luckily it didn't go that low. Right, got some more falling platforms. This level design is on point, by the way. Right, let's jump up here. Right, we've got a spiked roof here, so um, yeah, make sure I don't jump off the enemies into the roof there. So I'm going to water. <laughs> Not the water, I'm going to lava. <laughs> Alright, uh, what's going on here? Okay, is that meant to be like some sort of puzzle? I think it is. Um, but I solved it. Alright, this is going to be difficult. Get through the door before he kills you! Ooh! Oh, that could not have been any closer. Alright, why is the water? Oh, great, it's turned into a water level. Alright. Um, yeah, these levels are actually really long. Like, it might even end up being three parts, I'm not too sure. Uh, depends how hard it gets. But anyways, there we go. Give me them coins, please! Right, what's going on down here? Anything down here? The mushroom! Thank you very much, I'd take that. i get the coins as well, just because. Um, wait, do we have like a, um, run thing? Like, the, on the bottom it's got the, uh, run arrows. Like, is that actually, um, a thing? Yes, it is! Oh, that's quite cool. Right, oh geez, is he going to walk off? No, he isn't. Alright, he's a smart one. Oh, he's really smart, isn't he? But not smart enough. Because Monty Mole's always smarter. Alright. So let's get up here now. Go down here. Okay, so um, I'm actually going against the uh, current, I think. Like, I think the current's taking me backwards, so that's making me go a bit slower. It seems to be like a Bullet Bill themed fortress, which I really like. Bullet Bills and Swamps, like, they always just come together to make absolutely amazing levels. Alright, what's going on here? Jump up! Nice! Okay. We seem to be doing okay. Yep, yeah, you get down there. And stay down there. Don't go back up. You can go back up there. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna try and get on top. No! Ooh! Ah, oh, we're doing so well without a death, but then I finally died. Should probably uh, use my mushroom, you know. <laughs> Like, I got a mushroom there, so might as well take it. Because I'm pretty sure I'm small. But now I'm big. Alright, so let's keep going. On to the pipe, on to the next pipe, and back down. And oh, oh nice, he just um, went all the way to the bottom. And he stayed at the bottom. Lovely. Alright, get through that door. Nice, we actually got through it that time. And oh, is this the boss? Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, we've got a little block here. Sorry, but Boom Boom fled away to an airship. Did he? And oh jeez, I'm running out of time. Completely forgot about the timer. The levels are long. Alright, um, boom boom, ran away. That's awesome. Don't need to deal with a boss now. 
Wait, so am I gonna have to do an airship level? That would be awesome for Doom. Right, so now we've got a split road, I believe. So I've got to choose where to go. Continue and save. So we've got a uh, beetle cave. But oh! We've got a toad house? You know, now that I think about it, that is one thing that uh, Super Mario World never had. Bonus um, levels. Like, it did have that one bonus level. Um, but that was about it. So let's do the toad house. I'm excited. Oh, okay. This is, this is different. Oh, no, that's just the uh, exit. Alright, what we got? Oh nice, did I just get a fire flower? Awesome! So can I keep using that toad house? No way, can I can I go back over and over again? Ah oh, yes I can, that's awesome! I can just keep doing it over and over again and get infinite fire flowers. Thank you, that is awesome. Alright, let's move on to the beetle cave now. Got my fire flower now, so you all better watch out. Yeah, all you beetles. Your shell's not gonna save you from my fire. Oh, wait, can I can I pull them up? Like the to gotta be away. There gotta be a way to pull them up. No, nope, don't think there is. All right. Um, it's come on. I need to remember. It's not Mario Bros. Two. It's uh, Mario Bros. Three. Right, careful now. There we go. Perfect. Uh, give me that fire flower, please. Oh, you're stuck. Ah, oh, you're stuck. Get wrecked. All right. Um, so we got munches on the ceiling. Oh, should I have gone this way? All right. They're both lead the same way anyway, so I'm totally fine. Alright, so if I get hit again, I need to remember I've got a fire flower ready to use. Unless if it will um, automatically drop, which I think it might do. Right, Neo, watch out. Uh, it's... Oh, jeez. I was about to say it's going to be easier, but then you throws loads of enemies at you. Oh, careful. No. Ah, oh, come on. Alright. I, I got hit, like I said. I've got to use my, uh, got to use my fire flower now. Alright, let's go into this crystal shiny water. I don't know why it's so shiny. There must be diamonds in it. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not here for diamonds because I'm a mole. Pretty sure moles don't care about diamonds and jewels or whatever. Oh, what happens if we go down there? Alright, there's absolutely nothing down there. Oh no! Why would you do that? Ah, oh, come on. And I don't know what's going on up there. But ah, why would you do that? That's so evil. Right, and all these blocks have nothing but coins in them. They're all useless. Give me a uh, mushroom, please. Anything up here? No. They all seem to be uh, blocked off with uh, invisible blocks. No, you my invisibility? Alright, that jump uh, would actually have been really hard to do without taking a hit. And this is going to be difficult as well, because if I jump on the enemies, I'm going to go into the ceiling. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe I'll be best to go under them. Yes, I will! Alright, I did that. Right, what's this invisible block maze? I think it might be. Oh, no, it's just an invisible block staircase. Okay. Let's slide down. Oh, can Monty Mo not slide? There he goes! No! <laughs> no, don't slide to your death. Don't do that. Um, Alright, so I think it's your best not to slide at all. Right, there's a little bit at the uh, bottom which you can jump off of. I jump on you. Oh no, I wanted to kick it over way. Never mind, we're still here. And jump. Perfect. Nice. Lovely. I'm just saying a load of random words because I've got no sentences to say. Alright, all the enemies seem to be uh, coming in groups now, so that's making it harder and harder. But anyway, there we go. We have uh, completed it. On to the overworld music. I love the overworld music so much. It's so bouncy in this game. And there we go, we have done it, and now we are moving on to level 5. I think it's level 5. Well, the other one map says level 4, but it is level 5, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back and use this OP Toad House, because I need some fire flowers. So that's number 1, and then I'm going to do it again and get another fire flower for later. Because uh, this game is definitely uh, the hardest of the three, I think. And definitely the best of the three. Like, I'm loving this one compared to the others. Like, I'm not saying the others were bad. Like, they were amazing. But this one takes it to the next level. And, oh, is that a water level next? Okay, I think we got some water levels next. But anyways, Fire Bro Track. Alright, they're going to be interesting. Uh, well, guess what? i got my own Fire Flowers, so come on. If you shoot me, I'll shoot you. There you go, get out of here. You're not that good, are you? Right, come on, get out of here. Um, alright, so... It seems like to be a forest-themed level. I think that's what's going on here. Okay, um, oh, I see you there. Like, the good thing about fire... Um, fire is that the, um, fireballs don't go through objects when... 
Hammer Bros, the Hammer Girls threw objects, so um yeah, they were never as powerful as the Hammer Bros. Never nowhere near as powerful. Get down that pipe. Like no, I see you there. Like the uh, fire bros can like only go horizontal, they can't go up and down, so they're a lot easier to get past. Unless if it bounces up the stairs. No. Ah, come on, I messed up. Right, let's try and get down here. Perfect. Right, I'm surprised how long this um, game's taking me, but that's a good thing. It means that we're going to get a few episodes out of it, and I really like this game. So I'm really happy about that. Because the uh, first game, if you remember, only took me one episode. But now the games are getting longer, there's more stuff going into it, which is always good. Alright, wait for it, wait for it. There we go, perfect. Oh, jump over! Alright, I wasn't sure if we were going to make that, because we're off screen, so I couldn't really see myself. But it turns out that I did make it. Which is good. Alright, what's in here? Just a coin? Really? Ah, there's so many coins! I want some, uh... I would really like... Oh, I'm small! Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Um, I would really like some mushrooms. Yeah, so I didn't actually know that I was small, so I'm gonna get my fire flower out. There we go, perfect. Get down that pipe. And there we go, end of the level. Oh no, he's trying to stop me, but guess what? I got past him. So, where are we going now? We're going on to what level, I believe. That's where we are going. And, oh, wait, is there an airship up there? Wait, I need, a, I need to have a look at this. So, yeah, there is an airship up there, and uh, that's the uh, bonus level, I believe, that was uh, in the update. There seems to be uh, another mushroom house. Right, do I have time for one more level? I believe I do, so I'm going to do uh, level 5 right now. So, it's called Jellectrosy. Jellectrosy. Wait, so is that going to be like tons of jellyfish? It is. I think. Like, I think it's going to be like one of them jellyfish themed levels, and yeah, there we go, it is. Like, I don't know why, but the underwater levels in this game were really, really fun. Like, I think it's because uh, the graphics for these levels look the best. Like, out of all the Mario games, I think, um... Like, I think uh, Mario Bros. 3 had the best underwater graphics. Like, definitely. The graphics for underwater were so good, and I've lost all my power-ups already. I cannot believe that. I'm such a failure. Oh, oh, I forgot about them things. Um, them uh, underwater puffy things that threw out fireballs. Like, I completely forgot about them. I don't know how I did. But, okay, what's going on here? Am I going over the top? Huh, what is going on? Uh, maybe we go down here. Yes, I do. I go down under, under the sea. Alright, I need to watch out for him. There's another one. Hopefully I've gone the right way this time. Don't want to get lost again. Right, somehow Monty Mole is um, managing to swim even though he's not moving in his arms. Like literally, the only way that he swims is just uh, gives his feet a little kick. It's actually quite funny. Alright, let's keep on going. Anything in there? Yes, there is a mushroom. I absolutely love that. No! I went way too high. Um, guess what? I've done what I always do. I forgot to save day. But it doesn't matter, because um, we weren't that far behind, actually. We, we were quite far behind. Um, have I have I missed the mushroom? I think I missed the mushroom. Well, great. Okay, that's that's lovely. I don't have my mushroom anymore, because I completely missed it. Oh, no, is this it? Yeah, wow, I, I really did forget to save day, didn't I? And apparently the mushroom can uh, just go on jellyfish. Right, hopefully we get it this time, because it seems to be getting a bit more difficult now. Ah, oh, come on! Like, I remember how much I hated them jellyfish. They're basically like uh, munchies in a way, but they can just like, sit in the middle of the uh, open sea. Right, watch out for the sheep sheeps. Nice. Alright, I think, I think I've got my rhythm now. Should be able to do it. Careful. Oh, I see you there. Trying to make a wall so that I can't get past. I always get past. And don't know what's happened to that guy, he's just, um, quarter of his face has just, uh, been cut off. <laughs> don't know what he's done there, maybe, maybe he ran into a jellyfish, maybe that's what happened. And it's stung his face, ah, come on. Right, gotta wait for you again. Yeah, you go under there, perfect. Alright, um, I'm gonna go on top this time, maybe, maybe that's the uh, best way to go. And, yeah, I think it is. That's, that's definitely the better way to go. 
Right, careful now. Don't want to ruin it. Save date. Like, um, when it's a slow level, you sort of, like, forget to wear a save date. Because you're like, ah, oh, everything's alright. I'm not going to need to save date. And then, like, you just run into a jellyfish and you mess up everything. Right, careful now. Alright, new watch for him. Uh, should I let him do it? Yeah, there we go. Then I'll just wait here for him. I'm perfect. And is this the end? I think that is the end and we have done it. Perfect. And get that. So, I am absolutely loving this game. This is so fun. I cannot wait to make the next episode of it. But, anyways, um, I think that's all the time we've got. That's 20 minutes. Um, so, the next level is going to be Boomerang Attack. So, if you want to see me do that, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I will try and reply. But, anyways, all that's left. So, now is the Retro Cooper's I want to say goodbye. See ya.